welcome and thank you for tuning in please don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you get all the videos that i post please like and share the video so let us start so i will be looking at uh, a test it's just an exercise then i will show you how i approach the question and write my solution so let's get to the question so it says that uh, one bottle holds 2.5 liters of water a company produces water for a local retail store the company oh sorry the cost of producing one liter of water is 0 0.5 rands and profit for each bottle of water is 2.1 rand so you are hired to create a c++ program that does the following for the company it prompts the user to enter the total amount of water in liters produced in the morning you then have to calculate and output the number of bottles that will be needed to bottle the water so we are considering full bottles only calculate and output the cost of producing the water calculate and produce the profit for the produced water and then here you are given a little bit of sample output how your output should look like this can be used also as a test for testing if your solution is written and working as expected so for 12,500 liters we are expecting 5,000 bottles uh, the cost of producing that amount of water is 6,250 and the profit is 26,250 now let's head over to VS Code I'll be using VS Code to write my C++ code let me create my five I'll call this run test one cpp or c plus plus five then step include i will string for all my input and output functions space STD. so that i don't keep writing that std explicitly every time i use c in c out and n line and you obviously give the name to run C++ code and let us begin now the first thing that I would do is to try to take down the constants in the question so the first constant is that the bottles of water that you are using the capacity is 2.5 litre so I'll just go ahead because that's a double it's a decimal number so I'll say each bottle is about 2.5 litres the comment there so those are liters the second constant is the cost of producing waters like 50 cent so that will cost is equals to 0 0.5 so that's the cost of producing water N. and if you read carefully it says that cost of producing one liter of water not water so cost of producing one liter of water that's more clear and then we have uh, the profit and then the profit is two rand point one per bottle so this is profit per bottle of water so i'm done taking down my constant and then in the end of the c++ program I just have to return zero cause all right so the next thing i would do is to then go ahead and look at uh, the first point of our c++ program which is to prompt the user to enter the total amount of liters made in the morning so this is how it should look like so you should tell the user enter the total amount of water produced in the morning now that's obviously a string so i'm just going to see out and then i'm going to go ahead and copy this string so that i'm a lot quicker copy and paste that sorry paste that and then if you look properly here the input is on the is on a new line so you want to end line after that after outputting that string 
and in a new line you go C in and this will be the total amount of water produced in the morning so I'm just going to call this water now I want to create this variable now obviously this variable can be a double water I'm just going to assign that to a value that I know 0, 0.0 and then it will be overridden by the user's input here now I'm through with that part so with the next point the next point goes calculate and output the number of bottles that will be needed so we know this is the total amount of liters produced and this is the capacity of each bottle so obviously to get the number of bottles that can hold this water we divide 12,500 by 2.5 so you take your, your water divide by the bottle capacity that will give you the number of bottles needed to store that water or to bottle that water now obviously because we are looking at full bottles this will be an integer so i'm just going to say this is number of bottles enter and then i'm going to say that's an int and then if you are looking at this i am writing this a bit uh, backwards because I'm I'm writing the code through thinking I did, I did not plan it I just write so I know that I need a number of bottles that will be water in liters divided by the capacity of the bottle which is 2.5 liters that will give you the number of bottles and then I know that it's full bottle so it must be an int and I just declare that sign it to zero so I'm through calculating the number of bottles and the next point says calculate the cost of producing the water so obviously the cost of producing the water is 50 cent per liter so you just take the total liters that you have you multiply by the cost of each liter that will give you the total cost now I'm just going to declare the variable before this time so that's going to be double I'm just going to say this is the cost of water I'm going to assign that to 0, 0.0 then cost cost of water is equals to total amount of water times the cost of producing each of that liter that will give me the cost of the whole water that was produced and then the last point says can get the profit the profit is the same calculation is the total amount of liters produced divided by uh, the capacity which will give you the number of bottles that will be needed and then from our statement we know that profit is per bottle so profit of each bottle is two rand so you have to multiply the number of bottles by the profit that will give you the total profit of the water produced now that will be a double as well so i'll just call this profit or let me just call this total profit Now total profit, I'm going to assign that to zero as well. Then say total profit is equals to number of bottles, which I've calculated there on top, times the profit of the bottle. Now I've calculated all of the three points. Now I just need to structure my output to look exactly like the required output. So the first part, as you can see, is those dash lines. So those are easy. See out, it will be a string, then just a line of dash lines. And then I know that the next part is on a new line. So I need end line there. Then 
The second part is to output the number of bottles, but you need to show this string before outputting the actual number. So I'm also going to copy that string so that I'm quicker. Paste. Paste that. Then if you look here, there is a space between the colon and the number of bottles. I'm going to put a space there. And then my number of bottles. And line. And the next part is to get the cost of producing the water. So I'm just to copy, I'm just going to copy the string as well. See out. String paste. There's a space in between there. But after the space here, you can see that before the, 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 the cost, you appended an R there. So I just need to append the R here. And then there's no space between the cost and R. Then I will output cost of water and line. And second of last is the profit of water. So same thing with the string. Then in space, the rent there. See out the profit, which I named as total profit. Then line. Then the last thing to append that line of dashes again. So I'm just going to copy this one. Bam, there we go. So that is my solution and how I would have approached the question. So first I took down my constants, and then I just approached each point separately one by one. And in the end, I'm just structuring the output to look exactly like how it's required. Now let's run the code and see if it works as expected. So I'm going to take the first input number, which is 12,500. I'm going to run my code. Then there is the terminal. 12,500. Enter. Then as you can see, I have those dotted lines. They might not cover uh the 500 but if you want to make it look exactly like the output you just add a couple of more dashes there a couple of more then rerun the code same input 1500 oh so i forgot to save the code just clear that output two thousand five hundred. There, so now it looks exactly like the required output. But the most important part is the five thousand, six thousand two hundred and fifty, and then twenty six twenty. Now this is different. So there is something that we might have done that's wrong, or was calculated incorrectly here but let just let, 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 let me just look at that quickly using a calculator on my side so that should be 5000 times 2.1 which is definitely 10500 so there was a typo in this question which i'm going to fix quickly 10500 done all right so much for testing our code using incorrect numbers. Then the next output is 23,500. Let us test that one. Hopefully there's no typos on that one. Now rerun the code. So we put in 23,500. Enter. Now when you look at that, the number of bottles will be 9,400, the cost will be 11,750, and then the profit, I'm sure they used the same method on both of them because you can see even this one is different. Now, to calculate that is obviously the number of bottles, which is 9,400 9, 9, times 
which is 19,740. So this one is the correct one. So let me fix that as well. 9,740. All right. Then there is the code, there is the output. So you saw my approach. I hope this helps you um, in terms of approaching your C++ questions uh, exercises. So there could be a lot of ways you could write this. You could output your number of bottles immediately after calculating them. That would give you the same output. But as long as you are getting the structure that is required on the question, that is the most important part. Thank you.